Ok guys, so, Gameology put a video out why Dragon Ball Sparking Zero feels so familiar and not in a good way. And I saw that they put this and I saw people dunking on the video and well we can see 8000 views, only 332 likes. I, I decided to, ok, let's see if it's a bad, if it's that bad or if it's just some opinions that, well, not that great. Let's see, shall we? Z games. They show the same scene. Goku and Vegeta battling it out in a Utah-looking desert. Yes, it's iconic a fight. Clash that took DBZ into the modern era. Yes. And with the new engine, you can likely pick out which one is the newest game, Sparking Zero. But which mm. one is the second newest? What do you mean? Does the look different? Faster? Smoother? Mm. Tighter? Closer to the source material? Besides the graphics, it's almost impossible to tell. And that's a problem. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is looking to switch up the DBZ uh. Arena Fighter formula. But the truth is, it fails to switch up the formula at all. There have... Um, okay. I'm starting to see... Sparking Zero is supposed to be a sequel to the Budokai Tenkaichi games, right? So why would they change the formula? People have been begging Bandai to bring the Budokai Tenkaichi series games back. And they did it. If they change it, it wouldn't be Spark it wouldn't be a sequel to Budokai Tenkaichi, would it? So I think this is a bit of a stupid point, but let's continue. Been well over a hundred titles in the DBZ franchise. From the sublime to the absurd. But when Dragon Ball started using a boilerplate arena mm -hmm. fighter template back in 2002 with the introduction of the Budokai series, the franchise has felt like it's been stuck in a hyperbolic time chamber. With over 20 different DBZ arena fighters released in the past 20 years, Sparking Zero promises to be more of an exercise in nostalgia. I, I don't... What, what kind of point was this? Fighters released in the past 20 years okay but sagas is not there's nothing like the tenkaishi dragon ball legends is from mobile what is he, fighters place totally different than tenkaishi if you want to talk about dragon ball having only having the same type of games look at breakers breakers is a totally different type of game Dokkan on mobile is a total different type of game. Dragon Ball Heroes that released on the Switch on PC, totally different type of game. We are getting a MOBA. Dragon Ball Fusions on the 3DS. What? Uh, let, uh, let's. Sparking Zero promises to be more of an exercise in nostalgia than an actual competitive fighting game. But she's got a new hat. Dragon Ball mm. fans deserve better full we, disclosure i've been a huge dragon we are getting better with sparking zero with the gameplay the graphics the size of the hoster the story with what if moments this oh my we are getting better than the other anime uh, other an, uh, f excuse me we are getting it better than any other anime with games look at the jujutsu kaisen game that just released it was trash. Look at even if you, if we talk about One Piece games, One Piece haven't hasn't had that many great games either. Dragon Ball at least is consistent with hype and good games. The Budokai series, the Tenkaichi, Fighters, Xenoverse, Sparking Zero. Now, what the hell is he talking about? Dragon Ball fans, since I stumbled across it on Spanish access television when I was ten years old, I love. Dragon Ball. Okay, it means more to me than any other animated franchise. I name my cat Piccolo and sometimes dress him up like Lord Beerus. That's why I need Dragon Ball Z to do better. Looking back on the past is comforting, mm. but we can't live in it forever. We deserve either... Yes, Battle of Z was another game that was totally... The ...transformative leap forward for the series, or a sequel to the only transcendent Dragon Ball game over the last decade. Okay, so he's talking about fight fighters. Okay, so... If they announce a sequel to Fighters, does this guy want the, that they completely change the formula? 
See how this makes no sense? He loves fighters so much. If they announced the sequel, he would want it to stay on the same formula, right? To play with some improvements, but the gameplay being similar. That's what the sequel is supposed to do. What? Uh, let's. Okay. I played Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and unfortunately, the fears were confirmed. This is deja vu all over again. Now, the Sparking Zero graphics are the best they've ever been. And I applaud them for having destructible environments and trees that sway when hit with key power. But mm -hmm. graphics alone do not make a game. When you dissect the match, it's much slower than it looks. Real impact and damage is far apart. And it doesn't have the back and forth, keep them guessing momentum battles of top fighting games. It's not supposed to, to be a fighting game. To be is is showing Tekken and Street Fighter, you have that game with fighters. The Sparking Zero is not meant to be that. Even the director of the game talked about it. It's not to be competitive fighting game. If you play as Gogeta Blue in the game, you would be much more power than if you play with Mr. Satan. It, because it's it uh, it's not to be a com oh my god. This, uh, this comparison, it, I think it makes no sense. It might just be me, but it makes no sense. We're seeing stagnation in the gameplay sphere. Where Sparking Zero is extremely similar to the last several dozen Dragon Ball Arena fighters. It feels more like the return of the EA Sports College football franchise than a new spin on Dragon Ball. Updated graphics with familiar controls. And I need to talk about those controls, because if you've ever wondered what it's like to be one of the Z fighters, turn elsewhere because the controls are not great. Dragon Ball is at its best. Man, I, I, I have to. I've seen videos and I've seen Hamstal, Nanogenics, Dotodoya, CHX. I've seen many people that played Sparking Zero and they all talk that the game and the gameplay and the controls are all awesome. If you want the controls of the old Budokai Tenkaichi games, you can have that. If you if you want to change it, you can change it. What? What's the... Man, we are not even at 3 minutes and I already see why people have a problem with this. He's making points that are so... Okay, the controls are something that... He might not like it, but... They are not gonna change everything just because you don't like it and everyone else does. That would that would make no sense. Let's see. Delivers on fighting and yelling, and Sparking Zero does have a dedicated yell button. Yelling makes your special bar max out, and then you can pull off bigger moves and kamehamehas. But it comes at the cost of pacing. Powering up freezes you in place while your special bar fills up, leaving you vulnerable to attack. I'm sure that's part of DBZ, but it still makes the game feel clunky, and here's why. It's because the controls are too complex for casuals, but not technical enough for hardcore gamers. Oh my god. So, almost 20 years ago on the PS2, there were no problem with the controls, but now there is? What, what is this guy talking about? The controls? If what Ham Style and other YouTubers said that con you can have the controls as the old Budokai Tenkaichi games, they are simple controls. They are not that hard to to figure out. The oh, oh my God! It's been 20 years since Dragon Ball Budokai won, and transitioning from ground to air combat is still awkward. Locking on doesn't feel right. Ascending and descending could be streamlined. And it's not always clear if you whiffed a beam because of something you did, or if you just weren't on the right plane. You might even find yourself fighting underwater, but doesn't slow you down or change anything at all. It just puts on a slightly different filter. The best oh my, oh my god, no. I, oh, oh my, this is kind of... We are talking about fighters that that can blow planets and it's water that is going to slow them down what kind of point is that what kind of point is that of course water does it's not going to do anything to them they can fly at light speed and all of that why would water slow them down it it makes no sense 
this guy talks about being a big Dragon Ball fan and all of that. Why aren't you showing? You should know that the power levels that they have, water would do nothing to stop them. What? Let's... Just fighting games like Street Fighter, Tekken and Undernight Inbirth feel like you're mimicking character motion, gathering power, and pushing a button to release it. There's an emphasis on frame advantage, timing, and spacing that can mean the difference between victory and defeat. It becomes more of a dance at a higher level. Meanwhile, Sparking Zero feels like you're controlling a tank from very far away, and it's frustrating. Even the best fighting games can... Some oh, okay, I, uh, I think I'm gonna stop to here, because th this is really starting to annoy me. Sparking Zero is not supposed to be a f competitive fighting game. This guy is mixing things up. To have a competitive fighting game, you have fighters right there. Right there. Sparking Zero is not meant to be that. It's not trying to be that. It's just so Dragon Ball fans can grab a controller and feel like the Dragon Ball characters that they like. It's the whole point of the game is that, is to play as your favorite characters and feel like your favorite characters. It's it's what makes the Budokai Tenkaichi series so great and people love it because of that. That's why they've been begging Bandai for 20 years for this. And it, this guy is here crying about not being a competitive fighting. You have fighters there, go play fighters. No one's stopping you. It's let me see what some comments are say. Do just yapping. Just put my friends in the bag, bro. Terrible take hell video. One hundred dollars well spent. Who else waiting for the seventh? Yes, I'm with this guy. Bro, put out a review without even understanding the point of the game itself. The fact you are comparing it to competitive fighting games should be enough to invalidate your whole review because of the sheer incompetence. In Incompetence, a comparison like that shows. The older Budokai games were never balanced. Some characters were objectively way stronger than others. And that was by design, yes. It's like I said, if you play as Gogeta Blue, you are gonna be way more powerful than if you play as Mr. Satan. That's the point. This is trying, this is trying to emulate what Dragon Ball is all about. It's not trying to be competitive. The game allowed you to play memes like Mr. Satan but was also honest in what that character's strength was in the show. You could challenge yourself by playing characters that were on top tier or you could fought your friends with meme characters hoping to win to humi humiliate them forever. The point of these games has always been fun, not, not competitiveness. It's also nice to see how the power levels of the characters are actually consistent with the anime manga. Still, if you take any character from Street Fighter, Super Smash, etc., and you randomly put it against another, you will likely end up in, with a fair semi-balanced fight. The beauty, the beauty of all Dragon Ball games is that this doesn't happen there. Obsessive balancing is what kills fun in casual games, just look at Hell Diver situation. That's why Budokai was always a ton of fun with fans, never make reviews again, this is supposed to be your job and you can't even make a proper comparison. Jesus Christ, no wonder no one takes game journalists seriously nowadays. This guy makes an awesome point, shout out to Elatir6111. Great point. Sparking Zero is not meant to be competitive. Period. What else? The Gameology resorting to rage bait instead of uploading actual good content. There's no way the game ain't even out and people are trying to drop some BS. <clears throat> Lol, this is so pointless. The main point of Sparking Zero it, it, it feels like the original trilogy. Exactly. That's what you that's what Dragon Ball fans have been waiting for for years. It's to feel like the old Budokai Tenkaichi games. And this guy talking about that. Like I said, I'm talking back here about the different types of Dragon Ball fans. It's like you as a Dragon Ball fan, you have so many dif different types of games to play. On mobile, you have Dokkan and Legends. On the consoles and PC, you have fighters that play, that is a competitive fighting like the, like this guy wants. You have Kakarot to play the story with great cutscenes, 
some kind of RPG elements and all of that. You have Geno uh, Genoverse 2, Xenoverse 2, sorry, um, where you can create your own character and do raids and do side quests with friends and all of that. And now you, ha you have returned to the arena fighting with Sparking Zero. You have breakers. You have, you have a MOBA that is coming out. You have so many types of different games. You have heroes on the Switch on PC. There's so many types of different games as a Dragon Ball fan. Look at other enemies. J like I said before, the Juj Jujutsu Kaisen game was kinda trash. One Piece games, they are... You can say the Pirate Walker series are okay, but they are not that groundbreaking and all of that. And ad other enemies, what games do you have? There's My Hero Academia had those two games arena fight fighting games that were kind of meh it, it has a battle royale game now that it's also not doing great dragon ball at least is doing what fans want that's because people are hyped about this so you want a competitive fighter game devs already said this game will not be that it means it it's meant to be fun and unbalanced this video just says the new blue look i think i should do with an updated hot and graphics that's what we wanted exactly savage god 60 great another great point so i don't think i need to see any more of this because it's just making some stupid points and uh, man there's only so much i I can take with this and he misses the point completely this is not to be a competitive this is supposed to be fun and i can't wait to have my hands on the game so i can play it hours and hours and hours because man this game looks like the greatest dragon ball game probably ever and okay guys let me know what you think about this i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give a like a subscribe Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.